Hey guys, this is Nars from the PMS Clan and I'm here to discuss about my trip at PAX Prime. I got to hang out with some amazing, fabulous PMS and frag dolls from all over the country here at Seattle, Washington. Hey, it's Frag Dog Cadet Callie Mew from New York City. I got to work at the Ubisoft booth for their new game, The Crew. Before opening day, we got to meet each other, go over guides, and plans for the game, and obviously to play the game. Hey, it's Seltzer again, in the flash! It was an amazing opportunity to meet all the lady gamers from all over the country, coming together just for PAX Prime. PAX Prime is one of the biggest video game events in the country. Stationed in Seattle, Washington, attendees play all the upcoming games from Hyrule Warriors, The Crew, Captain Toad, The Order, and many, many more. Seattle itself is an awesome town, rich, lively, and modern. It's even better now thanks to PAX Prime. Prime is an awesome opportunity to also catch up with friends in the gaming industry too. This year, League of Legends North American Grand Finals was held at PAX Prime. This was the first time I've ever gone to the finals, which made this trip spectacular. Rubbing elbows with the distinguished shoutcasters like Ribbing Team III, Jack, Freak, and Kobe while cheering and then meeting NA League pro gamers, then hanging out with League YouTuber sensations was incredible. I got to see my favorite teams like Cloud9 and Counter Logic Gaming battle it out at the finals and then afterwards for signage. A lot of upcoming game lines were so massively long it was hard to play them all. Games from Bungie Blizzard and indie game developers and more. Two games I can't wait to see are The Evil Within and The Order. A lot of panels are pretty rad too, discussing topics like video game psychology, women in video games, and marketing your indie game. The history of PAX starts from the guys at Penny Arcade when they decided they wanted to have an exclusive show for just gaming. Starting at 4,500 people in Bellevue, Washington in 2004, Penny Arcade Expo doubled in size every year, resulting in becoming PAX Prime and PAX East, the two largest gaming events in North America. Spanning from musical concerts, free-to-play games, handheld lounges, exhibit halls, major esports tournaments, panels, and bring your own computer and tabletop areas, it is no doubt that PAX fosters and nurtures gamers from all walks of life. When I wasn't working at PAX Prime, I got to meet a lot of League of Legends YouTuber stars like Black Anola, Sky Williams, Instaluck, and the Yordles while playing Cards Against Humanity. Rock on! PAX Prime was full of surprises, especially when a guest experience of Chandler Riggs from The Walking Dead, who plays Carl, came on to the League of Legends Grand Finals. Apparently, he's a huge League of Legends fan, and of course, a curse fan. My most anticipated game from the convention would have to obviously be Evolve, coming out February 10, 2015. After everything was said and done, I got to interview some of the coolest ladies I work with at PAX Prime about their experience here in Seattle. I'm so excited about all the new games coming out, like The Evil Within, totally into survival horror, all the cosplays I've seen walking by, um, the GOAT simulator guys came by and said hi, that was just super, super cool, I don't know, all these cool girls I got to meet, but yeah, all in all, I would say it was a pretty awesome experience. My first time working in exhibit and doing media, so I'm dual wielding passes. I don't have my other pass right now because I'm working the show floor, but during my breaks, I'm recording, getting swag, having a lot of fun, meeting friends, so it's definitely a different experience than most, but I'm really enjoying it. Right now, it's so amazing. Like We're just here chilling at the next level. All the great experience, people coming over, doing competitions, and people come back day to day. It's just been an eye-opening experience for me. Like I just love it so much. Oh, it's chaotic, but it's been so much fun. I'm so happy I got to see a bunch of the girls that like, like this one. So I think that's probably the best part. You get to meet a whole bunch of new people and get experience and work at these booths. My feet, I can't feel them anymore, so I don't know if they even hurt. I just can't feel it. I've been sleeping on the air mattress for the past four nights. I'm tired. I don't have a voice. 
Jason Schwartz. <laughs> it's been great, but I, I'm kind of mad at Ayani right now. Because, like, she's gotten me obsessed over pins. <laughs> like, PAX has become all about the pins to me. Like, right now I'm actually on my way to the Blizzard booth because they said if I came back at 9.30, I could demo the game, don't give me pins. It's all about the pins. That's all I gotta say about that. Other than that, though, it's been great. I've gotten a lot of great experience. Um, experience I wouldn't have gotten any other way than here, networking, seeing all my friends. It's just awesome. I love it. It's been great. Everybody's really excited. Everybody is enjoying the music and the demos. I'm getting some free swag, checking out some games I've never heard of or seen before. Um, there's a lot of cool cosplayers here too, things I've never seen, a lot of creative people here. It's a lot of fun. Um, PAX Prime has been awesome. I've enjoyed seeing all the girls again. It, this is always a fun show to go to. Um, over time, I think it's been seeing the girls and seeing all the same people over again that really makes me want to work and smile and enjoy. Even though you have like long days and your feet are tired, but again, the girls and, and the work, playing the games and talking with people, interacting with others, um, that's what makes this experience awesome. It's cool, I love it. Get lots of pins. I'm now a pin collector and yeah. If you've never been to PAX, you're still like home. At least once in your lifetime. Being a part of the PMS Lab has given me the opportunity to come to PAX Prime and so many other conventions. I know I speak on behalf of all the other ladies when I say I can't express how honored and grateful I am to be given the opportunity to come to conventions like this on behalf of the PMS Clan.